Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be comparing Minecraft for Xbox and PlayStation to Minecraft for phones and tablets, or in other words, Minecraft Console Edition versus Minecraft Pocket Edition. And the reason I'm making this video is because I see a lot of comments where people have this big misconception that, oh, Minecraft Pocket Edition is just years ahead of the console. It has all these features that we don't, and that's not entirely true. There is a lot of features that the Pocket Edition has that the Console Edition does not, but there's also a lot of features that the Console Edition has that the Pocket Edition does not. So I figured I'd round up those features and why that happens in today's Today's video, but first of all, please do like the video if you do like it, it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like it. And let's get straight into Minecraft PE versus Minecraft CE, shall we? So let's start by explaining that they are two very different platforms, and this is why they're so different. This is why there's not just one ahead of the other. The Pocket Edition, they're developing for so many different tablets and so many different phones at the same time. It still runs on like an iPhone 4 from like Top Forest from like 2011, which is it's crazy the Pocket Edition runs that far back, and it means they have so many technical limitations, like they have to make sure it can run on such old hardware, like even worse than a 360 or a PS3, and that means they're very technically limited. However, because, you know, phones don't have, you know, uh, like an overruling, like, you know, Microsoft or Sony, they just have the Apple certification thing to go through. All they have to do is, you know, they can do a lot of creative stuff, like they can make the server thing happen. They can make mods allowed. They can do all this stuff uh, because it's on the user side, whereas, uh, which means they have a lot of, you know, technical limitations, but not many creative limitations. Whereas the console edition is developed by an outsourced studio, 4J Studios, and they, you know, don't have so many technical technical limitations because it's only running on one piece of hardware at a time. So every 360 runs the same. So if you get it to run on one, you get it to run on them all. Uh, same is true for an Xbox One, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. That means they have less technical limitations and it means they can do a lot of cool stuff as far as, you know, having like uh, their stuff work. But it, they do have some creative limitations because of the whole Xbox and Sony being, you know, running the platform and saying you can't encourage mods all this sort of stuff. And they also have the issue in that, you know, they're an outsourced studio. They're not part of Mojang, which means they're a little more creatively limited because they can't just suddenly decide you know what, we don't like diamonds they don't think the consoles they'd have to do some amount of approval because you know they mojang and Paul J both want to make a good game and that means they have to work together and stuff and it just means they have a little bit less creative license with the game and the reason this comes up is because if you look at all the pocket edition exclusive features if you think about the fact that they have the new biomes before us they've had them for a long time now you might think wow that's a 1.7 feature how have they had it for so long but in reality it's just because on the pocket edition because they have such technical limitations there's a lot of features like redstone even there's no redstone in the pocket edition like uh, the never I don't I think that's coming the next update but right now there's a lot of features that just aren't in the game yet because of just how technically demanding they are and obviously be without raising the specs it makes doing stuff like that very difficult whereas if you think about uh, because they're going out of order from the PC version that means they can just look at some of the easier features to run a, a pocket edition like new biomes and be like yeah we'll get that in there so you'll notice whenever you look at all the pocket edition exclusive features which just to name a few uh, beetroots for instance beetroot soup that whole thing beetroots are a pocket edition exclusive that are never going in or out. It's not actually that demanding a technical feature. It's just a cool different thing. If you look at things like the fact that uh, the Never Reactor Core, that's actually pretty cool. But, um, you know, new boats, for instance, you might be like, whoa, that's crazy. They're boats. You can, you know, row left and right like that. And they have two paddles. You can put a mob in there. But that's not something that was actually crazy extra work. It's just something they're like, let's add something cool in there. And if you think about the Stone Cutter, that's something we just don't need on the console. And a lot of the Pocket Edition exclusive features are like that. They have a lot of cool things and it makes the game unique in a lot of ways. But they don't have any exclusive exclusive features that are amazing massive like they don't just have guardians in there before us because a lot of this stuff is tricky for them to get and that is the big difference between the console edition and the pocket edition the console edition is trying to follow from the pc and be a more stable version of the pc and that's something you'll actually notice and that's something when i ask them about they're like yeah that's what we're going for they take the hard features at the same time as the easy features the the only exception to that is this most recent update t25 where they added all the cosmetic stuff first but you know the tricky features like getting let's say Amplified walls to work. Uh, you know, if they can get it to work, they're going to work at the same time as you know new biomes and all this other stuff. And that is the big difference. Instead of just uh, you know taking all the easier stuff at once and then having problems working one by one the harder stuff, they're you know just kind of catching up at a steady rate. And that is what is so great about the console edition. I mean, sometimes it sucks because if you don't care about the stuff they spent half their time working on, it's not great. But the fact that we're all getting it all there anyway, the that's what's so cool. So if you look at the stuff that the console edition has over the pocket edition, you might be like, oh, actually, I kind of get this. So. The console edition, for instance, does actually have, um, you know, sprinting, which the Pocket Edition doesn't. It has hunger, it has crouching, it has all these basic features that you, you know, would have expected from way, way back in the day. They're not there. You even think about stuff like uh, the end, not there. The wither, not there. So many of these massive cool things, they're just not on the Pocket Edition yet. And this is because, you know, getting it to work that hard, getting it to work on so many different things is very tricky. So, uh, yeah, let's just address one more thing while we're here then. Uh, 
Infinite Worlds are on the Pocket Edition, but they're not on the console. And the reason for this is not because, you know, insert reason that console edition guys are lazy. It's because of the fact that on the uh, phones, it only runs on certain ones. And even then, you have to, you know, you, you won't actually have an Infinite World. If you try to explore the Infinite World, you'll run out of space and it will, you know, you'll have to delete other stuff on your phone eventually. Even if you have like 128 gigs of storage, um, Infinite World takes up so much space. And that is the big issue. On the console, they want it to be a more smooth experience. They don't want that to have to happen. So there is a limit to the n amount of save space you can have and that's why the world is 5000 by 5000 you can explore that world as much as you humanly want I've tried to max out the save size in that thing and it will s you'll still be able to have multiple you know large world size even on the Xbox one and PS4 and that is one of the big uh, reasons why the console edition has a limit and the pocket edition does not even though the world is infinite you can't actually explore it all but the 5000 by 5000 large world size on the Xbox one can be explored fully so uh, yeah I kind of went all over the place this one but I hope uh, you did learn something about the whole pocket edition console edition divide the console edition is trying to be like the pc but running on a console really and running a more stable version whereas the you know the pocket edition is trying to be this cool mobile version that you can build stuff with and get these cool features but there's a lot of survival features that are going to be missing for a while like even crouching it's just gone um and yeah that's the that's the big divide to me the pocket edition is for on the go play it has a lot of cool advantages if you're playing in creative but i think the console edition is a more comprehensive experience and that is the big difference between the two. I hope the video did help you out if you're trying to decide bet between like a uh, PS Vita and a you know a phone or something. Uh, maybe it helps you out. If you if you currently only have Minecraft on a phone, I would definitely recommend picking it up on a console. It's it's a chill experience. I mean, I know controls will be on both soon, but just being a clever controller, chill back, and have a bunch of like e all the way up to like halfway through 1.7 for the PC. It is very very cool. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I hope that covered everything. Like though, if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.